Hey there, y'all. Hope you've been having a great day. Hope every day is a blessed day for you. Now, this is going to be a mail day video for my good buddy Joel over at 543 Collectibles. Send this to Steve. That's me. Yep, I'm Steve, also known as Bungle, here at Bungle's World. That is something I've been anxiously anticipating. Uh, I definitely had a lot of fun popping open the... Uh, the modern kaboom box that Joel was gracious enough to send over and uh had a great time ripping through that box and ripping through packs that were in those in that box uh phenomenal phenomenal box uh now Joel also runs a great channel I'm going to be posting his link down below uh not only to his channel so if y'all haven't subscribed to his channel yet definitely subscribe you absolutely runs a great channel uh he enjoys switching off uh, as far as intros. Uh, he definitely has some very, very cool intros, outros, all of that, and some great content as well. Uh, vintage, modern, all sorts of baseball baseball cards and those type things. So absolutely, if you like my channel, uh, other channels related, but 543 is definitely one to check out. If you have not subscribed yet, definitely make sure you do. Now... I also want to just grab a little sign over here uh, that I keep alongside. I have a lot of these types of signs on my desk. Faith does not make things easy. It makes them possible. And this is from Luke 137. Yep, New Testament. Uh, you might want to check it out. And I, it, it kind of relates to a conversation I was having today uh, where in my mind, and I, I kind of heard it at a young age, and it's been one of my guiding principles, if you do things and you act like it depends on you, you pray like it depends on God, whatever it is, is going to happen or something better is going to happen. No matter what, if you just sit back and try to wait for things to just roll to you, that it's not that that's not exactly how, how the plan works. Um, and I also do think that prayer is an important part of, uh, of your life, of my life. And, uh, I, I guess you need to make the decision if it should be an important part of your life. I, I mean, I know at one time or another, I think everybody prays for something, but that's just my opinion. Anyway, let's get to opening this. Enough with me preachy here. That, that'll be another channel for another day. Let's see. I, I, I'm working with my multi-tool here because uh, for some reason... All of my other knives seem to have disappeared, and I probably don't need a knife to open this pack. But you know what? I, I anyway, I, I just do. That's why I do because I do. All right, let's see. What do we have in here? Now I can say that I do like Joel's packaging. Uh, he definitely does a really nice job as far as packaging. I, I appreciate good packaging from my days. Formerly, uh, one of the side businesses I did was an Amazon third-party seller. It was actually really interesting during the whole uh, pandemic period, as I, I guess we'll refer to it. Make sure there's nothing inside there. Nothing inside there. Now, Joel also runs a Patreon, and you should be aware of that also. I'll post the link down below. Ooh, and, okay, so we got the notes. Good. I like notes because I go from notes. Okay, hello, Steve. Joel here from 543 Collectibles. I have another product for you to review. Yeah, I, this is a review. I, I definitely, I, I guess I'm going to give it my best review. I, I enjoy opening boxes and packs and all of that. But anyway, get back to the letter here. I got diverted again. It is my Retro Kaboom box. This box features eight packs of baseball cards. Ooh, eight packs of fun there. Four packs from the 80s and four packs from the 90s. Very cool. You also get a vintage single from the 50s and a pack of sleeves. Now, I call them frappers. Uh, many other people call them sleeves. They definitely help. Price on this box is $34 shipped. It's available on, eight, on eBay and Patreon. I'll be posting a link down to his seller ID as well. And his eBay item, if I could definitely find it. And on the next page is Patreon info. 543 Collectibles Patreon and YouTube Info Sheet. Now, again, this is the Retro Kaboom box. Okay. 
anyone who joins this tier, that's the $34 tier, gets this box every month. He has other tiers, the dollar tip jar. Uh, if he gets enough support, he could do monthly drawings for packs. The mini kaboom box, four modern hobby packs. Anyone who joins this tier gets that box every month. 64, that's for retro and mini. Modern Kaboom box. Okay, that's the one that I opened uh, not too long ago. Uh, one in four boxes contains a PSA 10 card. Yay! Uh, eight modern packs and a one-touch card holder and a pack of sleeves. And then the 114 level on his Patreon is for the retro and modern pack Kaboom box. So I will, again, as I said, I will definitely be posting a link down below to his Patreon. His Patreon, his YouTube page, all his info that I have on him. And again, you should definitely subscribe to his channel if you have not yet already. One of the favor, I guess, I'll ask of y'all. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do. I definitely appreciate all subscribers, comments, thumbs up, all of that great stuff. Hit that bell button. I think I have a lot of fun content coming out all the time. And uh, I, I just looking at my statistics, I would say that 70%, if not higher, of my viewers are not subscribed yet. Now, I don't know why, because a lot seem to be repeat viewers also. So you, you can hit that subscribe button. Um, also, I have a poll that went out recently uh, where I'll be doing a live opening a, a box of cards. And I'm going to be doing probably weekly lives, maybe every two weeks. I'm not sure yet. Um, going through a box of some sort of vintage cards. So anyway, with all that being said, make sure you vote in that poll. Let me know what you want me to open. And yeah, if it's the 80, if it's the 88 tops, yeah, I'll be eating a bunch of gum. Oh, well, you get to hear the crunch. So, all right, what do we have inside here? All right, we got our, our frappers. Now, I go through a ton of frappers. I'm sure many of y'all do. So, frappers always come in handy. Those are always great. And we have our eight packs of cards here. Ooh. Now, should I show off the 1950s card first? I think so. I think if so. Ooh, very nice. Look at that. Got early win. Very nice. 19, 1952 was the second straight year that early has lived up to his name and won early and often. Had a 20 and 13 record in 1951. Last year he won 23 and lost 12. So very, very nice card here. I also think the condition on that is very, very nice. Considering the age, 1953, that, that's like a long, long time ago. That's, that's a bunch of years before I was born. So very cool. That's going to stay right there on the Wall of Fame. Now let's take a look-see at what we got here. And as I said, he's got boxes and all that stuff that he prints up, labels. So very nice box, nice wrapper, nice wrapping. Make sure that the cards and the packs get to you in really good shape. So that, that's kind of important because you don't want your, your packs to be dinged up, damaged up. So he's using these great plastic bubble wrap. Ooh, and you know what? I'm going to enjoy popping bubble wrap. Ha ha. <laughs> you get to hear me pop bubble wrap here. Check that out. All right. Anyway. <laughs> Ooh, 82 Donruss. All right. Nice pack there. Chance of a Ripken rookie. That's really cool. 88 score. Ooh, and that's a fatty pack too. Nice. Thickness there. Leaf packs. Oh, I enjoy opening leaf. Those are great. And we have the 86 Donruss. Now that's the 88 leaf. So that's great. Uh, chance for the Robbie Alomar rookie in there. And the 86 Donruss, chance for the Can Seiko. Very, very cool. Nice pack there. Phenomenal first four packs. Those are our 80s packs. And what do we have here? All right, we got more bubble wrap. Yay! All right, I will not be doing any poppage on that one. I'm going to save that one. All right, we got ourselves... Another Donruss pack. That's great. We got Series 2, 1993 Leaf. Very cool pack. I've opened some of those recently. Lots of fun stuff to be found in there. 
90 Bowman baseball. Of course, a great Griffey to be found in that one. And a 93 Fleer baseball. Definitely fun stuff in there. Lots of great cards. Collect Tom Glavin cards and that great stuff. So nice little eight packs there. I mean, I to me, I, I definitely appreciate the Leaf. Those are very hard to find, as well as the two Donruss packs. Those are phenomenal. Score, I love opening. Uh, I, you know, I always laugh and I always make jokes at the garbage pack or the garbage bag wrappers, but uh, still, the, the, they did a good a good job, I'd say, as far as collation and uh, the the overall layout, the look of the designer cards, well, it was definitely up up at least up to what all of the other majors were doing at that time. All right, very cool. So let's see, I get to choose four packs that I'm gonna be opening here. Let's see, do I go for the Gusto? Or do I go for the Gusto? Let's see, I think I'm gonna be opening up Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's see, mo. You know what, I'm gonna open the 88 score. And, you know what, I'm going to keep it consistent. The 88 Leaf, I'm going to save these two for my next video that I do on this. Because I like to break these into two. Alright, let's see what we're going to do on this one. I'll do the, well, let's see. I got a Leaf, I got a Score. I'll do a Bowman. And I'll do a Fleer. Because, you know, Donruss and Leaf, same company, just one is... One is American, and the other one is Canadian. So I'll keep those to the side, and I'll just open one of the leaf cards, one of the leaf packs, I should say, in this. And I'll open the other one a couple days from now. More than likely, I'll pop those as well. All right, so let's see what kind of great cards are in these. Now, again, I love pop and vintage, so... This is this is absolutely right down my alleyway. I'll start off with these 90 Bowmans. And you know why? Because you don't get to. I get to. Ha ha. Ooh, look at that. Gum is all just falling apart there. Thank you, Joel. Piece of what used to be gum. Kids don't do this at home. I have a bang on the side. Otherwise, I'd choke on the gum dust that's left. <laughs> All right, so who do we got here? Let me keep these four on the side because those are going to be open later. Yeah, we got some serious ASMR between me popping the bubble wrap and crunching that gum. Now, if me crunching on gum is one of those things, the sound of that is something that gives you comfort. If nobody's told you recently, I'll tell you you're weird. But you know what? That's okay. You can embrace that weirdness. All right. Starting off with Barry Lyons. Ooh, Dave Parker should be Hall of Fame. I, I'd i like to hear an argument from anybody rationally why Dave Parker shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. Absolutely should be. L -l -l Lloyd Mosby. Looking all smiley there in spring training. Dan Skatsker, Skatsker, Pat Coombs, Matt Williams. He was supposed to be a big boy, a big player at one time. Definitely was good. Howard Hilton. Now, I, I guess at one point in his career, somebody thought he was going to be a great player also. That didn't uh, happen that I recall, except maybe in an alternate reality. Got Chili Dog Davis, Bruno, Scott Hayward, Mr. Congressional, Rafael Palmero. No, I didn't do anything. Nope. Nope. Although, you know, weirdly, the, the, the 
picture it just looks really weird like they airbrushed it or something Did they airbrush his head or that hat on him or something andres galarraga another great player mark grace all right nice bowman card there i'll save the gracie that's for sure and joe oliver that's oliver okay so grace i'm gonna keep up over here i'm not gonna wall of fame him but still a nice card to keep so nothing worth writing home about there, but definitely fun. It's a fun retro rip, that's for sure. Retro, vintage, whatever you want to call it. Well, you can call it junk wax. It's not wax. This ain't wax. It's plastic. And yeah, I know. That's what some people call the era and all of that. But, you know, I, I think if there's... Things that might be of value. How can it be junk? Uh, I mean, I know that there was uh, there's one of the 1993 uh, Jeters that recently sold, if I'm not mistaken, for somewhere around two hundred thousand dollars. Now, I don't know how junk, supposed junk, is two hundred thousand dollars, but y'all could explain that to me someday. All right, we got Carlos Baerga. He's Man on the Run. Great Paul McCartney song there. Cal Eldred. Well, I should say Paul McCartney and Wings. Zany Zane Smith. Weird arm angle there. Steve Finley. Ron Gant. Great player, great hitter, that's for sure. And there he goes, swinging a bat. Cecil Fielder, Prince Fielder's daddy, Jamie Navarro, Danny Darwin. Now, I like the style of these cards. If you look, they got their name in, in letters that are huge enough that I could read them on the back. That's a nice thing. Because sometimes the little letters can really get to my eyes. Jeff Brantley, Oral Hershiser. Got Bagwell, nice Bagwell card there. Early card of his, not as rookie, but still great to pull a, pull a Hall of Famer. Robbie Alomar, all right, got two in a row. John Habian, and that's the end of that streak. Scott Radinsky and Jeremy Hernandez. So I got two cards I'm going to frap her up right now. And again, these four packs that are sitting over here, that's going to be in an upcoming video sometime later this week. All right, so we got those two in frappers. I'm going to keep the early win front and center. Definitely an early, early win card. All right, now we got 1988 score. Sorry about that, y'all. Got disrupted. So we got the 1988 score now. I, I was going to pick up the knife for this one, but I don't think I need it. I think I can rip through some plastic. A little bit of a disruption here in my office slash garage with moving stuff around and digging through stuff that I've shuffled out that people didn't even realize was in here until recently. Always lots of interesting stuff that could be found in boxes here, but... Another story for another day. Maybe sometime I'll show off some of the card shelves or something. All right, we got Willie Wilson. Fred McGriff got Crime Dog. All right, nice card there. Well, now that's a very nice card. Eckersley, he's a Hall of Famer. Yep. I did, It's one of those players that we did not think he would be Hall of Fame when we were young. We did not look out for his cards. Brian Fisher, Mike Marshall. Lance McCullers. Great moments. Ooh, I just threw that to the side also. Forbes Field, 1960. Do you remember? Nope. That day in September. Nope. Jerry Royce. John Tudor. Got Quisenberry, that submarine pitcher. Bob Knepa. Andy Hawkins. Steve Trout. Pasquale Perez. 
Ron Kittle, his time with the Yankees. Now, he had a minor league career that you thought he was going to be the next Babe Ruth, the next Mickey Mantle, the next everything of everywhere, of everybody. Uh, his, his, the seasons that he put together over in Fox Cities in Wisconsin, incredible. Take a look into his numbers and then try to figure out why he didn't exactly make it. Yeah, he ended up with, if I'm not mistaken, neck problems or spine problems or something like that. Uh, yeah, just, uh, you never know what's going to happen with young players, that's for sure. So, enough with Ron Kittle, Donnie Hill, Jamie Quirky, and Ken Schramm. All right, let's get to those two up there. And Wall of Fame those. Got Eckersley. Got the Eck. And Crime Dog. DH, first base at that point in, in his career. All right, I'm going to put that one up on the stack of packs. It's a stack of pack attack. All right. And finally, we got this 1988 Leaf. Now, I've had a lot of fun recently opening 88 Leafs. Leaf packs, they're not all that easy to find. So this is definitely one I appreciate finding inside this box. Again, this is the Retro Kaboom box, available from 543 Collectibles. Joel's definitely a great guy. I mean, uh, see his videos, take a look at his content, make sure you subscribe to him, Patreon, all of that other great stuff. Take a look-see at least. Got Chris Brown. Not that Chris Brown. Baseball player Chris Brown. Come on. Will the Thrill Clark. Nice card there. Tommy John. There you go. He's uh, the reason that all these modern pitchers uh, continue to be able to pitch. Uh, <laughs> surgery, man. Not for the surgery that they did on him. Well, all right. Got Gator, Ron Guidry. Jimmy Rice, another should-be Hall of Famer. B.J. Surhoff, another should-not-be Hall of Famer. Larry Parrish, looking really pedo van there. Shawan Dunstan, Sean Dunstan. He actually put together a lot more solid of a career than I remember. Uh, I mean, some people thought when he was up and coming that he was going to be the next uh, next great player. Didn't turn out that way, but he was a good solid player. Could had a good solid career. Vince Coleman, all right, nice card there. I and mean, he gave Ricky a run for his money for a little while. Uh, him and Reigns both did. And Sean Hilegas. So yeah, this has been fun. That was a four-pack opening from the Retro Kaboom box from 543 Collectibles. Again, make sure you check it out. Uh, I'm going to be doing another video that will probably be released in a couple of days. I say probably, but yeah, whether it's a day, two days, three days, it'll definitely be there. And there'll be a link from that one to this one and from this one to that one. So you can take a look-see at the other four packs and all the fun stuff that, I, that got pulled from those. So all the fun stuff that I had the privilege to be able to pull. Seeing the 1953 Bowman Early win... As the 1950s card, that's a really nice find. It's a really nice card to be included in there. Great picture, that's for sure. It's funny, they, they, they show the picture without a mitt during those days, and uh, color cards were not as common. Uh, they just really started doing the color photography-type cards at that time. So, Absolutely a nice one to add to my PC. That one's going to be staying in my personal collection absolutely positively forever. Well, forever as, as long as I'm around. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or anything like that, make sure you throw it in the comments. Uh, but I had a fun, a fun time ripping these. I think you would also. Anyway, y'all take care. Stay well. Stay blessed. Bon glout.